everyone i am priya from techity software if you recall in our last video we discussed how to create a document in sharepoint document library and how to add permission to it today in this video we are going to discuss how to attach workflow on a list in sharepoint document library today's tip comes from shiv tomar a senior software engineer at techity software shiv tomar is completely dedicated to his work and an expert in sharepoint development and .net technology thank you shiv for this valuable tip After creating any document in a SharePoint document library, we decide to whom the document should go first. But how would you do that? In SharePoint document library, we can do it by attaching a workflow on it. In this workflow, we mention the details regarding the document like to whom the document will go, status of the document, etc. Let's get the clear idea of workflow in this video. for proceeding further make sure that you have created a list in sharepoint document library and you have set the choice type and user type go to list and click on my list here we have already created a list the choice type and user type is already selected click on workflow settings and select add a workflow after selecting add a workflow you will need to fill these informations Select a workflow template you want for the list you have created. By default, SharePoint provides three-state workflow. Enter the name of the workflow. You can check this box if you want workflow to be manually started by an authenticated user, or check here if you want workflow to be started automatically after creating an item. Click on Next. Here, select the Choice field. After that select a value for initial middle and final states we have selected draft for initial state that means when document is sent to the first reviewer it would be in draft mode for middle state when document will be sent for first reviewer to second reviewer the status will change from draft to pending approval if second reviewer passes the document then the final status changes from pending approval to approve Whenever a list is created, by default SharePoint provides task list and history list. Though we can create it manually. Now you will need to fill the task details. When workflow is initiated, what should happen is described in task details. Write a custom message say workflow initiated. This custom message will be displayed in task details as task title. By checking include list field, if you select title here then in task details item name will be displayed with the custom message as a task title type a custom message for task description if you would like to see item name in task description with custom message then check this box include list field check include list field for task due date we have set it to modify now if you want to assign the task to the reviewer whose name you will be putting after creating the item then select include list field and select the reviewer of your choice we have selected reviewer 1 or if you want to assign the task to some other authenticated person then select custom option and put the name of that person in this box now you need to fill email message details write the name of the recipient to whom you want to send mail after reviewing the document and if you want to send this mail to reviewer as well then check this box put the subject check the box insert link to the list item and write text or detail of document in body after that we will define what should happen when workflow changes to its middle state it is mostly same as we have discussed for initial state just few small changes needs to be done write custom message for task details as we have written review task this custom message will be displayed in task details as task title by checking include list field if you select title then item will be displayed with the custom message as task title tap the custom message for task description say a review task has been created if you want the item name in description with custom message then check this box include list field check insert link to list item if you want to assign the task to the reviewer whose name you will be putting after creating the item then select include list field and select the reviewer of your choice we have selected reviewer 2 or if you want to assign this task to some other authenticated person then select custom option follow the same format for sending the mail 
This mail will be sent after reviewing the document in middle state. Here, write the name of the recipient to whom you want to send mail after reviewing the document and if you want to send this mail to reviewer too as well, then check this box. Put the subject, you can also use the task title as subject. Check the box, insert link to list item and write text or detail of document and body. After that, click on OK. So we have adjusted all the workflow settings. Now we need to create an item to attach a workflow on it. Click on add new item. A pop-up for new item comes up. Give the title of this item. We have given the title as item 1. Select the status for item. It could be anything like draft or pending approve. We are selecting draft. Here we are selecting shift over as reviewer 1 and Pratik as reviewer 2. Now click on save. You can see an item is listed here. Title is item 1. State is draft as we set. Reviewer 1 is Shiptomer, Reviewer 2 is Pratik and the most important thing is that our test workflow is in progress state. Click on tasks. You can see that the task details are same as we have filled in the workflow settings. Title is workflow initiated item 1. Item is initially assigned to Shiptomer for review. We have put his name as Reviewer 1. Description is same as we have filled in workflow settings. Click on title which is workflow initiated item 1. A pop-up comes up. Go to edit mode. After reviewing the document set the status. Say completed. Rest of the areas are already filled so proceed further. You can see that for ship tomer the status has been changed to completed and after complete review from ship tomer the task is now assigned to Pratik who is reviewer 2 as we have mentioned during creating a new item. Right now for Pratik the status is set to not started and description is same as we have mentioned in workflow setting. A review task has been created. Go to my list. see that the status of that document has been changed from draft to pending approved. After this same procedure will be followed by Pratik as shift followed. So in this way we can define a workflow and we can share a document with other authenticated user without any manual process. I hope that this will help. Thank you.